Making musical instruments is a quintessential human activity. From the early days of humanity, there have been people making instruments to produce music. From bone flutes and clay ocarinas found in caves, carnics from Iron Age Celts and corn horns from ancient Rome, to temple bells in China as old as 2000 BC, we find evidence of music from our ancestors. Around the 16th century in Europe, there were guilds that regulated the different crafts and trades. Thanks to their statutes and legal cases, we have evidence of instrument making as an organized and recognized profession. The lute, for example, has a history of centuries. In Fusen, a small town in today's Bavaria, the lute making guild ordinances were passed in 1562. However, we have evidence of large lute making workshops that were active in Venice even earlier than that. The violin was, if not invented, at least refined to the form we know today in a small city in northern Italy called Cremona. It was there in Cremona, at the turn of the 17th century, that the famous instrument maker Antonio Stradivari had his workshop, among other renowned makers like the Amati or the Guarneri families. It is fascinating that even today, Cremona is one of the most important centers of violin making in the world, with several hundred violin makers still active. Some instruments have changed considerably and constantly throughout their history, like the lute, whilst others remain almost unchanged for centuries, like the violin. And of course, many instruments have vanished or fallen into oblivion. Yet, it is unfair and somewhat inaccurate to state that musical instruments evolve through time. It is more accurate to say that they change and adapt to new trends and requirements, often dictated by musical trends and technological developments. A classical guitar is not necessarily better than a baroque guitar. They're just different because they were intended to produce a specific sound for specific music. What is certain is that instrument making has evolved together with technology and ingenuity. New technologies allow for significant changes on how instruments are made and of course the sounds they produce. Instruments are often preserved as fine examples of craftsmanship. Looking at the musical instruments in a museum, like this in St. Cecilia's Hall, it's easy to think that all instruments produced were exquisite pieces of craftsmanship. However, there certainly were many more modest, simpler musical instruments made for musicians that were not considered as worthy of saving for hundreds of years. What I find truly fascinating is that behind each musical instrument, there is a rich history of its construction, including the person who made it, at least until the Industrial Revolution. Large factories have changed the way musical instruments are made. But even today, the finest musical instruments are handmade by men and women all over the world.